We're now going to add a sliding door to the lounge room and the bedroom too. We talked before about the idea that there was some windows shown in the object library. We're not going to use the object library though. We want a door, so we'll use the door. Now sliding door slash window can be a bit confusing. When we go into the door tool, there is a door, which is called a sliding door. There's a few here that look similar. So there's an exterior slider. What that means is it's the, the door is sliding on the outside of the wall. It doesn't mean it's a door for outside. So generally speaking, we use the exterior slider as like a barn door. That tends to be the most modern uh, way of doing that. So, and we tend to not use those as exterior doors because they're hard to weather seal, but we tend to use these as interior feature doors. A pocket door is otherwise known as a cavity slider, meaning that the door is sliding into between the plasterboard, again, generally speaking. The one that we're looking for at the moment is this one just, that's just called sliding door. And it's a bit confusing because it only looks like one door. But when we go into the settings, we can then change it to have multiple leaves. So this is the one that we're actually after. Now, depending on how big we want to make it, we could either make it to have one sliding leaf and one fixed and just make it very big. So four meters wide, two meters per leaf. Or we could make it four leaves, three sliding, and still have it the same sort of size, four meters, which means that each leaf is only a meter long. So it really just depends on what's the opening width of what you want, because of course the first would result in a two meter wide opening, and this would result in a three meter wide opening. Of course, there's all the other variations in between. When we have a look at this one, we can, we could measure it, we can see that this is representing at about 2.7. So theoretically that would be 999. Three lots of 900 would make sense. This one is representing as 2.7, but we can see very clearly that this is shown as two leaves, which generally means one would be fixed, one would be sliding, whereas this one clearly looks like it's three leaves. Now this could mean one fixed, one sliding, one fixed. So we'll do, this one in the bedroom first, because that's the one that we've been talking about. So let's go back to this. We'll change this to two leaves, one sliding. We can have this one, two leaves sliding, but that just means that one is sliding at a time. That's not very common. So we'll do this one, 2700. We'll place it. In this case, we're placing it based on the midpoint. I'm not worried about being exactly precise. But we can see it's not showing with much detail. It's only showing a line. So we can't really tell if it's working the way that we want. We see that's actually probably reversed. But in order to understand this, let's go into the settings. If we go down to floor plan and section, we can change the 2D level to be MVO, so that means model view option, by model view option, or we can make it more detailed. So if I go to the floor plan, we can see that that's what it looks like at the moment. And then if I change that to be one to 50, we can see that it's going to add a lot more detail. So we can see that's how it shows up. I can therefore see that this was the wrong way round. So I could just mirror it, move, mirror, click in the middle of the door, and it's gonna flip that orientation. And so that's probably the way that we want. If we're not sure, we need to look for that pink node. So if I slide this, is it sliding the correct way? Yes. So we see that the internal skin or the, sorry, the internal leaf, the internal leaf is sliding, which is how most sliding doors work. And it's sliding in the direction, which is shown suggestively in the drawing that we're tracing. So that's great, That's we did that one correctly. When we go over to this side, we see that this one is different. So if I was to place that one here, that's not what it's showing. So how do we adjust this one? Let's go into the setting, and we can't adjust it in this particular model. So if I go back to it, we don't have a two fixed leaves, one sliding leaf. We've got two sliding, one fixed, two sliding, two fixed. So what do we do? We need a different door. So in this case, we need this one here, sliding door with side light on side. We also have this one, sliding door with side light on side. So it depends on which side we want the fixed panel to be. So in this case, we want this one 
because we want fixed, fixed sliding in the middle. So we can see how that looks here. We'll change that to 2700. We'll go back down to the floor plan. And again, we'll just change that to be one to 50, just so we can see that in detail. Now this is tricky because we need to get the sizes correct. So how do we here describe how large it is? So in this case, we want them to be 900 each. 900, 880, 880, that's about as close as we're going to get it. We could say 890 and 885 or you know 885 and then we're just going to do fractions so we're never quite getting it exactly right but it's relatively close and I can't tell if that's the way that it's supposed to be working the only alternative really is that it's the opposite direction so it doesn't really matter let's just assume it's working that way and again, we can use that pink node to stretch and make sure that it's sliding in the, in the correct direction. But again, that looks pretty good. So that's a, a good representation of what we're trying to represent.